Sam Jordan and I have some shit to say. Human beings want to belong, whether it's sitting with the cool kids at the lunch table or organizing a Game of Thrones watching party, which is a thing I hear people do because they won't shut the f*** up about it. Humans tend to categorize people because categories makes things simpler. Like the way you have a filing cabinet, okay? You have a folder for your tax returns. You have a folder for, like, receipts. You have a folder for, uh, sonograms that... <laughs> I don't own a filing cabinet. But people aren't old birthday cards or paperwork you're too afraid to throw away. In the past, things were simple. You were born in a village, you raised pigs in a village, then you died in the village, hopefully after the pigs. Yeah, yeah, I would hope so. You spent your entire existence in an area no bigger than a McDonald's play place. So if anybody asked you, where are you from? The answer was simple. Uh, that house over there with all the pigs. Pig, the pig cemetery. <laughs> then we started moving and mixing and having babies with people that were farther than two steps away. Towns became cities, cities became empires, empires became nations, and your identity was linked to exactly where you were standing, which in my case would be the feudal state of green screen nation. But now that doesn't work. Okay, let's start with me. I'm Venezuelan, but I was born in England, but I live in the United States, but I have a German last name, but it was originally just Jewish, but I'm Catholic on my mom's side, but it looks like I'm doing the Macarena. You can't put me into one folder. You need to put me into eight. And that's true of almost everybody. Like Chris, what are your folders? Uh, just hillbilly. What? Yeah, I'm just a hillbilly. You're, su you're, you're supposed to support my like thesis statement. Yeah, but what, you want me to make stuff up or something? You can't just be hillbilly. We're like a Christopher Nolan movie, okay? There are layers and it's incredibly complex and sometimes you can't follow it, but it's still dope as f So when you walk out, yeah, maybe you're a little bit confused, but you still had fun. Unless you watched Inception, because in that case, you just watched hot garbage. But there's still some assholes with shitty comb overs that think the one folder system still works and guess what? They're running for president. Donald Trump claims that federal Judge Gonzalo Curiel will be biased against him in an upcoming case because he is Mexican. It's so scary. Trump is putting someone into a folder, into a cabinet where he keeps his racist thoughts. It's a very big cabinet. Yeah, sure, Judge Curiel does have Mexican heritage, which is certainly not a bad thing, but more than likely he identifies with other things in his life too. Like the fact he was born and raised in Indiana. Or the fact his last name is Jewish. Or the fact that he plays the jazz guitar, which isn't relevant, but it's still a very fun fact. His identity is very complex, like Selma Hayek and Louis C.K., both Mexicans with totally different backgrounds, okay? One of them you want to masturbate to, and the other one is Selma Hayek. I'll be here all night, folks. Even food that is traditionally considered American has an identity crisis. Chris, name the most American dish. Hot dog. No. Apple pie. No, name something else. Potato chips. Popcorn. Hamburger. What, what, what'd you say? The hamburger. Just hamburger? With fries. Just hamburger. Sure, with fries. hamburger with fries. Hamburger with fries. The hamburger was created in Hamburg, which is in the Germany, and I can do the accent very well. A hamburger is a beef sandwich, and sandwiches originated in jolly old England. Fries are called French fries, but they are not even French. They are actually from Belgium. I can't do the accent, and now I went back to German. <laughs> You know, we tend to put names on certain moments in time. We have the Renaissance, we have the Dark Ages. I think that in the history books of the future, we will be known as the hyphen era. We live in a time where a little line allows us to string together all the things that makes us unique. Mexican American, Asian Peruvian Protestant, Midwest white Muslim, all of them are dope and not at all scary. But tell me, what do you identify with? Tell me in the comments below, and I wanna see just like a ton of hyphens. Just like, hyphen everywhere. Just hyphen it out. The hyphen has been ignored for so many years, only been seen in the dictionary, and now he's back with a vengeance. So until next time, I'm Joanna, and now that I think about it, history books in the future probably wouldn't be books. It might just be like a flash of light, and you just automatically ingest all the information or something like that anyway. Till next time, I've said my piece.